This is a 1985 Bridgestone MB3 that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace for $120. It's a 23 inch frame and I think I paid too much for it. I don't have any pictures of the complete bike, but when I purchased it, the brakes didn't work, the tires were flat, and as I would later discover, the fork crown and fork blades were twisted. There's some oversprayed silver spray paint, scrapes through the paint, scrapes through the decals, but otherwise, it's in okay structural condition. I don't have any pictures of the complete bike, but here are some of the components. This crank has riveted chain rings and an obsolete BCD. There's a Suntour rear mech and a Suntour front mech as well. Beautiful Suntour power thumb shifters. I love these things. Some SR bars with lots of silver spray paint. Plastic bell platform pedals. An SR golf club stem with more silver spray paint. And some rusts. Motorcycle style Shimano levers with more of that beautiful silver and a padded leather saddle from Cell Italia. It even had some saddle bag loops. These are the original wheels. So I decided to build this up with a few things on hand, like this Sake SA crank set that was off my MB2. It's in pretty good shape. I overhauled the bottom bracket cup and cone style. Got that cleaned up and rebuilt. Then installed this crank. It's something like a 46, 34, 26. And these are MKS Monarch Lambda pedals, I think designed by Rivendell. And here I'm prepping a Nito Tallux stem. I think it's a 11 centimeter. And these are Rivendell Nito Bosco bars, 56 centimeter. And here I'm installing that Suntour mech that was original to the bike. And a Shimano front mech from my MB2. These shifters were on the MB2. These are Shimano EM thumb shifters. Nice ratchet noise. And it took me a while to get this all figured out. I had these top mounted, and then I had them reverse mounted, and eventually I would pull them off for a different shifter. And I got some new brake levers. These are Shimano XT. I think I bought these new from Rivendell. Pretty simple. Black levers and silver-ish housing. I picked up some cheap mini V-brakes. These are from Originate, and I got them at my local bike shop. I think the whole bike's worth was $19. Not a bad silver finish, and plenty of stopping power. I decided to use the old wheels from my NB2, which are 26-inch Araya rims and SR hubs 
with some Schwabi fat francs, which I think are 60 centimeters. And I reinstalled the Suntour freewheel while I waited for a new freewheel in the mail. Here I'm trying to reverse mount the thumb shifters for underside operation. And it worked all right. Getting the clearances correct took some time and fiddling around. And here I'm pulling the rear wheel to work on the rear cassette freewheel. This is the original Shimano freewheel, six speed. And I couldn't get the dust cap off to service the bearings and regrease it. So I bought a new Shimano six speed freewheel from Rivendell. You can hear this one's moving pretty well, but I decided to get a new one all the same. And I got that installed. It's a 1434 six speed and it costs something like 14 bucks. Once I had the cassette on, I realized that that derailleur wouldn't work and I'd have to go with this Shimano from the MB2. The Suntour was swinging into the spokes before making it to the largest cassette. And the Shimano looked better, it matched the rest of the group a little bit better. Nice and shiny, silver, and a nice and long cage, works great. Started to get cables and housing wired up using ice gray Jaguar housing and brass ferrules from Wheels Manufacturing as I normally do. And I got the rear mech adjusted. This is a nice, thick, six-speed chain. Shifts all right. Here I'm adjusting the front mech. Here I'm installing a new seat post and saddle. The seat post is something generic that I found on eBay and the saddle is an old B-17 in Honey made by Brooks. And I had a new fork and headset installed by Andre Randolph at Bikeworks in Fredericksburg. And I realized this looks like a $20 fork, but it is in fact a $60 fork made by Sunlight. I had a really hard time finding a replacement fork that had adequate stack height. Everything that I found used was too short and the few forks that I found available new that would have worked cost over $200. When I overhauled the front hub, I realized that one of the dust covers was missing. So I used a washer from the hardware store as a temporary fix. But luckily I found a replacement dust cover that was a perfect fit. And once that came in the mail, 
I got it installed. And I installed a bottle cage. This is a stainless steel cage from Soma Fabrications, made in Japan. And I wrapped the chain stay on the drive side with some khaki colored new bombs tape. This would have been a lot easier without the chain installed and without the wire running to the rear mech, but I painstakingly threaded it through the chain and the cable. And I finished it with some twine. And a coat of clear shellac. Next, I made a little dedication badge using these steel punches and a small brass plate. This is something I've done for a few bikes. To Glenn, for you. March 2022, from me. Once I'd finished the dedication badge, I put it in my badge bending jig. It's got one side sized for a head tube and one side sized for a seat tube. I put a piece of brass in there and then shape it with these dowels. Not a bad bend and I attached it with some automotive panel tape. Now, after a while of this bike sitting around and using the Suntour Power Ratchet thumb shifters myself, I decided this bike had to have them as well. So I got the grips removed and the cables pulled out so I could free up these shifters. And I started getting the Suntour mounts installed. Here I was measuring to get my shift levers equidistant from the ends of the bars. And I haven't mentioned these so far, but these are Ori V2 grips in a special gum color that were manufactured for Blue Lug in Japan. And here I have these reverse mounted and I'm checking out the clearances. And getting the other hooked up. And everything was wired up and working well. I built this bike up for my buddy Glenn, and I was really excited to give it to him. I think it turned out really well, and he was happy to have it. 